What time is it? Y'all know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know, just right there. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me in both places. It's time to get this review started. Well, I finished the first season, which was only like, what, seven episodes of the Maha Pirate series on the Hot Stars, Star Plus, Disney Star Plus. And let me tell y'all, this one ended pretty good because right when we left off from the last review, right, the brother Vasarius, whatever, the brother dies, which I thought he's poisoned, but someone said he had maybe like a, a disease, like TB, which he did start coughing and he coughed up the blood and he passed out. Well, he dies. And uh, that leaves, you know, first the, the, the two wives, like now he just gets married. He, the, he gets the, ordained as the king with the water. And now right as he becomes king, dies. Dies right and becomes king. Well, Bishma, he wasn't happy, right? He went storming off and he was gonna shoot like the arrow and in, into, I guess the sun or something. He was all in tears, like his brother passed away. I mean, he did all this stuff to set up, you know, the brother and the wives and now just come crashing before him. So he's devastated. So he's about to do that arrow and then out of the, the, the clouds comes like one of the gods. Now I'm not sure who this one is. That comes, is that like the sun god up there? Something that comes and tells them to stop. Like, you don't want to destroy the universe. It's not Shiva, is it? Because Shiva comes on later. So this one comes and stops, and then he comes to his senses. He's like, all right, we got to go on. We got to we gotta be here for the kingdom, and we got to go on. Well, well, who else wants to go on? <laughs> the, the queen, what's her name? Satari Arvar. She tells that the daughter-in-law's, what did Ambalika and Ambaka, the two daughter-in-laws, she tells them, well, we're just going to get a sage and we're going to get you, uh, you're, you're pregnant. <laughs> we're going to get you some heirs, right? First of all, this sage stuff, I had to look into this a little bit. I had to look in the little sage and this was really a thing. They would have somebody come representing somebody, right? Representing like whoever they're, the husband or whatever. But if they can't have children or dies before they can't have children and they do like this whole ceremony to get them pregnant i was reading about that i was like i never heard of this before until this i mean i've heard people say sage and and use those terms but i didn't know all the intricates of it they had some rules too didn't they they had some rules like they had to cover and couldn't see each other all this stuff so they sent for this one sage ved i forget his name but he came impregnated them but i guess he also had fun with the maid i was like they never had so because they all was pregnant all having babies by by the sage he wasn't happy right because they had the birth and she was gonna they do that little ceremony to give them names and everything and here's the the one the queen mother she was like here's the first one and they they named you know that baby what oh, i can never say his name right it starts with a d the saratra the Sa well, that was like the first one, right, Dame? And then here comes the brother, and here here they gonna name him Pandu. Now, I know Pandu, I was like, oh, stuff's starting to come together because I was like, Pandu, he's the father of like the Pandavas, Panda, right? And then the other brother, he's gonna be the one on the other side that has like, his wife has like 100 babies or something, right? So I was like, and he's blind. On top of it, he's blind. I almost forgot to put that part in there because they were all there. Oh, he's blind. He's blind. So those two brothers got their names. Well, here comes Bishma with the third brother that was by the handmaid, which they didn't even want. They wanted to sweep that one under the carpet, didn't they? They was like, oh, let's not talk about that brother, <laughs> right? And, and but Bishma's like, oh, no, he's the brother. So he brings him in and they name him Vendor. I looked up a little bit about him because I never heard of him before, but he's supposed to be real intricate, like devoted to his brothers and full of knowledge and would give like, you know, advice to the kings and the and the things. So he he's a little important part in this. You can't just look over him. Well, during all the ceremony, who shows up? Who shows up but that Amber? 
she's still ain't over her her madness is she her revenge she still is like we're getting revenge on you bishma you ready she what did she say she's like you either marry me or death there's your choices well now she's got the backing of that one guy who who kind of trained bishma and everything what is his par parsurama she got the back of the him. He's like, fine. Because she was about to set herself on fire. She's about to mold herself. And she, and he comes out and he's like, all right, lady. <laughs> right? It seems like, you've been in my hair long enough. What do you want? Fine, I'll get revenge. So here's her, marry me or death. And he's like, I took an oath. I'm just, like, he stands behind his oath. That's some honorable stuff. So here comes him and that Parsharma who helped train him and everything. Here they go fighting. Here they come, they're going head to head, going to start a fight, right? Let me tell you, that fight, that fight was like, nobody's winning that. Let's take a little bit of a look at a little bit about this. Y'all ready to see some of this fight? It's Bishma and Parsharam fight. Let's go. Oh yeah, this is the end of it, because they were battling. Bishma went in the water, and they were, and finally Bishma's like, I had enough of it. Here's my arrow get in there here they go clashing the axe against the arrow and they're like stop it if they if they hit each other it's gonna be the end of the universe what happened oh that's some of the other fight what? that's some different fight now well what happens here comes they, here come, they show this for a long time you're like what's good here comes the arrow here comes the axe and then you see something out the sky, right? Coming down. And who is that? I even have that video. That's uh the the Shiva, like or the Lord Shiva. I recognize it first because him, he's up there and he's got like that snake on him. I was like, oh, that's the Lord Shiva. Shiva. I said Shiva. Lord Shiva. Shiva. Because you recognize him by the snake. So let's watch this. Cause right here, these arrow and that and that axe about to hit, and he here comes the light. Y'all ready to do this? Go! It's about to hit. They're about to hit. And then, oh, there's she was watching too. The danger. But he's like, oh no, we're stopping this. We're stopping this. Y'all can't be doing this. And Lord Shiva comes out the sky. There he is. Oh, first it was the mountain, right? They showed him in the mountain. He's like, y'all about to stop. He's like, y'all can't be doing this, right? Now it's going to delay. It's going to be weird and delay because copyrights. <laughs> but even, all of them, they're like, oh. Tells him to stop. He's like, look, he, he passed the test, right? He said that he passed the test. And then her. She still want her revenge. Even the Lord ship, but she's like, no, I want my revenge. Where's my revenge? But she's like, I want him dead. I want Bishma dead. See, oh, she, she won't give that up, will she? She will not give that up. And what's Lord, and then you're, you're like, what's Lord Shiva going to do? Oh, yeah. 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 He's like, you're going to get your revenge. You're going to be able to cause his death, but not now. <laughs> That's what he said. Not now. One day, 25 years from now. I just love this song. Oh, don't you not like that, did you? They showed her a little bit. But yeah. They, she did. And he's saying, remember, he's like, come on, please, let's just make up. <laughs> please, just get over this anger. Right? He's like, get over this anger. She's like, oh, 
तुमने हस्तिनापुर के जिस सिंहासन के लिए मेरे जीवन का नाश किया है उसी सिंहासन के लिए तुम दिन रात संघर्ष करते रहोगे वो सिंहासन तुम्हें एक दिन भी शांति भरी निद्रा प्राप्त करने नहीं देगा that's just too much built in anger. You gotta get over that anger. You do, you gotta move on. But she's carrying that anger to another life. Right? I love the music in this. It goes so much up, don't it? So yeah, she's like, oh no. So she's gonna bring that anger, keep it in her, and bring it to another life. And then they show the scene where what is it like they're in that one um they're in that one play that one uh country or what does it want to say kingdom right and that one guy who don't like the bishima he's like oh finally i got my daughter my daughter's gonna get revenge on the bishima and the, and the daughter was born what is her name sa sa i even was looking this up sikande so that's what so amba is reborn as sikande who oh, eventually born a female, but then they said androgynous, like she was born a female to Shikandi, Sh Shika, Shikahandi. <laughs> I can't say these names good. And to Drupadi, the king of that place. And the, But then she transforms into a male? Ah, oh, this is it. This is, are we going to see this coming up? Are we going to see why this happens? Because I was like, what? But I know they also say she she becomes a male and then she's the brother of Drapati. So I was like, look at all this setting up. Like, it's all this stuff is starting to set up Pandu, the, the father of the pandas. And here comes, she can't change into this reborn and then change into a male who is the brother of Drapati. So this next season's going to be some stuff, right? This next season, because then we also at the very end of this season we see Gandhari. Oh, I know Gandhari. She, well, she's the one who marries that dra, dra, pa, the, the one with the D, the brother, the D brother. I said, that's what you call him, the D brother, Pandu's brother. He's an easy name. Couldn't they give me something easy to say? She's the one who eventually marries him. And I remember she had the thing around her face. She went gives him a hundred sons or, or whatever, and she. She puts that thing around her face to be blind. But then you find out, like at the end of this, she's afraid of the dark. So I was like, she's the one that's going to have the thing, married him, and then put the bind her eyes. And she's afraid of the dark? Well, don't that thing get interesting? So that's where this leaves us. And season two, I'm, I'm like, let me get started on this. I can't wait, because this is when... It's really set it up for some good stuff and, and finally getting the characters. I'm like, oh, I know a pretty good amount about finally getting to those characters. Of course, they have little Krishna. Well, he's not little anymore, but I'm always calling my little Krishna. <laughs> I think I, because I love those little episodes so much. But here he always comes in with his little drops of knowledge, which I've said, put you at peace and everything. But also, like, when was this written? Right? When were these scriptures and all written? Over 5,000 years ago, they said, right? Wasn't it over 5,000? But you have to think, like, I'm just watching him and dropping these little wisdoms and knowledge that is so true and so relatable. And I'm like, look at, look at the, the, the knowledge that they had back then, that Krishna was giving people back then. I mean, this is some complicated stuff that, you know, wise men, like, even now, I'm like, oh, that's true. But this is like the 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 inspiration and, and and things that you know they put in these scriptures that that would relate so well even even nowadays. It's just amazing how something written five thousand years ago could impact us now so well so many years later. About raising your kids, about you know not holding, you know, or, or what was it? To not, not, you know, having expectations in life because you're just going to be let down. Like these little drops of knowledge relate so well through the ages, even now. It's just amazing. It's amazing to me. Oh, I enjoyed this. And now it's, it's starting to get so good. I mean, it was already good. I was already into it, but now I'm like, oh, here we go. 
Here we go. And it's weird how they do these seasons because the first season, seven episodes. Then I look at season two, it has 20. <laughs> so you know I'm going to be grouping this stuff together. You know that's why I've already done. This is the last three episodes in season one. I'm going to be grouping these, but I am into it. I am into it. I can't wait to watch more and see where it goes and, and learn more and and listen to uh, Krishna's dr little not drops of knowledge to us. And y'all let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Till next time. Mwah!